This is Neil King for Random Acts of Cartooning, and I'm here in Riverton, New Jersey, seeing the band Ask Carol, and I'm going to do some live sketching during the show. But first... Okay, everyone, so the influence for this episode is Bruce Tim, and one of the greatest things he's done is this Batman story from Mad Love. So this is not the original book. This is a coloring book that they have that they put had put at some point. I made a coloring book from it. So what it does is it shows you all this amazing line art from the book. The book was just great. It was colored really well and all that stuff. But I'm a big fan of Bruce Tim. He's a big Kirby guy. So everything that I see of his, uh, I just love all of his ideas. He's you know, cartoonist, and he does animation, and he does character stuff. All the Batman stuff came from him. But some maybe considered this Mad Love story was considered, is considered one of the greatest Batman stories. And the things that I love that he does is the economy of line, and he does a lot of gestural stuff. So he's really cartoony, but then even with his cartoons, he can make something look dramatically scary or over the top at the same time but such beautiful work and i love seeing it like this that's why i buy a lot of essential comics where they don't have the coloring on it and sometimes when they're in a larger area like this you just get this thing and notice there's no line that there's no overdone area anywhere all great storytelling we get close-ups far shots silhouettes, all the things in cartooning that you're used to seeing. And I just love everything. Even uh, his backgrounds are just what you need. You don't have to do too much. <clears throat> and um, his use of shadow, like that, reflections and light, spectacular. Everything about this episode was good. It was funny. It was scary. It did all kinds of things. Look at that great scene. Economy of line. Beautiful little water effects. Just a master. You just, you know, he's done a certain amount of real comic work, but his, his, most of his career has been doing a lot of animation stuff. But he does lots of other books. I'll, I'll show those too. Look at that great image. I could talk all day about the Bruce Tim line, that brush, beautiful. But great influence. And it's actually a coloring book. Bruce Tim. Okay, so um, this is another great concert that I'm seeing here at uh, our friend Debbie and uh, Chris's house. Uh, they have bands come throughout the year. And this is uh, Ask Carol, and they're from Norway. And they're kind of an alt-pop group. Uh, so they had a really great sound. And what's great about this venue is there's only about 50 people there. And so I was able to get close, like the front row, off to their right, and just start doing a couple sketches. So um, the great thing about being so close is that you can just develop a specific feel for um, like what you want to get from them pretty quickly, because they're not moving that much. They're in the same area. But um, the lead singer constantly really is moving. So she's playing guitar, she has a trombone, she got a, you know, a drum and all that kind of stuff. She's very active, um, and, but she's interesting. And so I was just trying to get a feeling for what she's doing. And when you're a cartoonist like I am, um, that you're always in your back of your mind, you wanna kind of make it look like them. And you're kind of simplifying a lot of things and I'm trying to get as much into that scene as I possibly can. Because there's all the microphones and you can see all the things that they're playing. The drummer also plays guitar or bass. And, you know, like there's a lot of things going on. So um, you're just kind of picking and choosing your spots. And you're trying to get your proportions and everything. You know, all these instruments. She's got uh, her guitar. So I want to try as much as I can in a drawing like this. To, um, to just get those right proportions. You know, I'm guessing at certain things and I can't help but um, 
but try to focus in around where certain things are. Like there's a synthesizer there, there's all kinds of different things going on. Um, but you also want to make them seem like they're in a space. So this was just one of three sketches that I did. And I'm showing you this one. Um, but here's like another one that I had done. I got a little closer into them. And this is a much closer face shot of her. That's the uh, facial shot. So this is where, again, the, the main part was. And it probably took me about seven minutes or eight minutes to do that specific um, piece. Uh, really most of it and then you're just I'm just kind of touching it up after that but um but they, they probably were on stage for about an hour and um, it gave me plenty of time to uh, just at the end after I had gotten most of the stuff in to get some of those pieces in and again she plays this kind of trombone a couple times from one of their songs and um, but there's a lot of pedals and all the stuff on the ground and all these wires. But I think it all makes it really interesting. And she has all that hair. And it's all over the place. And I like uh, it just makes it more active and more interesting to kind of draw. But it's, it bothers you too sometimes when you're drawing something like this, uh, like that. You, you want to get it done while they're there. Uh, is you're just making decisions. Um, as always, though, I want to show some of the stuff that I'm working on. These are my kid books. I have a whole bunch of all ages books like this. Uh, the Deep End, Spaghetti Eddie, uh, Why My Parents, or My, uh, my Parents Are Ninjas. Um, so take a look at them. They're in my Amazon store with my all my other adult things that I have also there. These are all just lots of fun things for all ages uh, that I have. And as always, I have a uh, sketches that I do, a bunch of conventions are coming up, and these are the kind of things I do. I also do commissions, so you can, I have all my contact information on every one of the episodes that I do here. So make sure you're supporting, and I, you know, I'm always looking forward to do lots of different projects. Um, hope to see you at a convention, too. Okay, here you can see I've gotten a little bit further along. I've added some parts to the foreground and now I'm working on the drummer and again luckily he has certain things as a when you're drawing a face like that as small as that is and I'm drawing right with pen that there's a part of you that if you overthink it you just wind up doing too many lines and then it's just too much because every little line is important when you're working uh, with a ballpoint pen or if it was a uh, like even a fountain pen, you gotta you gotta just do it and try not to overthink it. But with him, you're lucky because he's got those big glasses. He's got a beard and the hat, so pretty much anything I do is kind of gonna look like him because he's got all the stuff. And even with her, with the the long hair, that's pretty. You know, these are pretty big kind of. Um, caricature kinds of things that you can just fall back on and you get the feeling of them. Like even for her eye makeup was, is something that really kind of sticks out too. She's got a very angular face. And with him he's always smiling, he's looking up at her and they're all constantly looking at each other because there are certain parts they have to do things and that's why I went in a little bit further to get closer to them when I eventually did that. I think it was important because they just like, look at her, she's playing a trombone, it's insane. And they were just fun. You know, Norway, their first part of their tour, they're all young, they're really trying to get out there and do stuff. It was really great to be able to see something like this. Um, but to bring your sketchbook when, you're, when you see this kind of stuff, it's fun. So here this is, again, this is like um, getting down to the end of the piece. I'm getting him in. And when you have somebody who's you know, he kind of is set behind her from my point. I try to use a little bit more hatching for him. He is wearing black shirt on top of, you know, he's got a black hat and all that. And you can see what a great background it is in that, uh, that space. Deb and Chris have uh, done such a great job with that space. But, um, but yeah, like I'm just looking at the things that as a cartoonist, I would have just, wouldn't have thought 
like certain things there. So all these pedals on the ground and even in that drum, you see a couple of pillows that are in there. It's something I wouldn't even think of, but, but when you see it in real life, it, I'll remember those things. If I had to draw some kind of person in, in a scene who is drumming something or they're holding a guitar and like, it's just these little things that are, this is what you're supposed to be doing when you're sketching all the time is going out and seeing the stuff, really seeing it. And it's not just from a photo. Um, and you're picking up things that you just wouldn't usually do. So um, I guess I'm coming down to the end of this with this part. And uh, I just really have a great time doing it. I, I, I try in certain concerts to be able to do it, but I'm never this close. So whenever I can do it, um, I try my best to, to bring it. Okay, so this is the finished product. Um, a lot of fun. Thanks to Deb and uh, Chris for putting on this event. And make sure that you're liking and subscribing. And can't wait to get to my next episode.